Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we have something pretty exciting for you. This is the Greenworks Power Tool Drill Driver and Impact Driver. Now they contacted me and they wanted me to test out their tools and they gave me this combo in order to test that out and I was more than happy to do that. So today we're gonna to talk about these tools and you know, kind of put them through a test so you understand some of what the capabilities are them are, whether that is just controllability or within the pure power that it can produce. But before that, let's talk about what actually came in the pack itself. This is the case that it came with. This is a soft case. It came with a drill driver uh, here and an impact driver here. And it came with a, I've already taken the bits out, but an eight piece bit driver or driving bits. And it came with a little charger. This is a compact charger that you can use. This is really nice to have. So it has the transformer that goes in the wall here and then this just goes on the battery. So it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is pretty nice, especially if you're traveling. It also came with, well, two, two amp hour batteries. This runs off of a 24 volt platform, which is really nice because you get that extra punch out of these tools. Before we get started, let's check out the specifications now. Now, as you can see from the specifications that one of these tools stands out more than the other. The impact driver has 1,900 inch-pounds of torque, which is pretty impressive from not a major power tool brand. So we'll be very excited to see what that can produce for us. But with the drill driver, this put up 300 inch-pounds of torque, which is pretty mid-range, especially for a residential or homeowner consumer. So what I want to do today with this is we're going to put this through just a few tests. I want to know how well I can control something with it. So I'm going to drill a one inch screw with it and I'm going to set it on its lowest clutch setting to see are we going to overdrive that or not. And that's the controllability you want with this. If you're going to do woodwork, if you're going to do drywall screws or anything like that, that's really what you want to see out of this type of tool. So we're going to do that. We're also going to uh, drill a couple holes as well. Uh, but with the impact driver, what I really want to do with this is put it through its ringer. So we're going to sink a few big screws with it. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so first up, this is the one inch screw. So you can see right here, it is coarse as well. It's a very tiny screw. I'm going to set the clutch all the way down on the bottom. This is number one. Let's see if we over drill this one little screw here. No, that barely went in, so that was maybe a quarter to a half inch of the way for this one inch screw. I would say that's very, very good uh, for this particular drill because you have a lot of controllability there, so I'll give that a big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and kick this up to four to see if we can drive this all the way in. Okay, so not all the way in just yet. So you can tell you have that much more controllability. We'll kick it up to six this time. And six, it almost gets it flush. Let's see what we can do on eight. And eight does drive that flush. So you can see you have a lot of controllability with this. Now that's on the one setting, that's with the power. Let's see if it's the same. So we'll set the chuck all the way back down for the number two setting, which is the speed setting. Oh no. It did very well, the clutch kicked in for that. So let's go ahead and kick that up to eight, see if that'll do the same. So, uh-oh. Okay, so I would say it's even a little bit weaker, but a little bit more controllability on the fast setting, but I always like to drill these on the slow setting, so I'm not sure how well that actually gives you a, um, so I'm not sure how effective that would actually be. So let's jump into a one to five eighths inch screw. For this, we're gonna set this up to level 14. Let's see how we do. No problems, that drove it in. And that drove it in right flush on that number two setting. Um, I'm not, I'm sure that on number one, it's gonna be the same as well, but. So the clutch is accurate between number one and number two, which is very good. Now let's test the power out. This is a four inch screw. We are going to put this on number setting 18, which is the highest clutch setting. See how well we drive this all the way into the wood here. Yeah. 
It drove it all the way in without any issues. Now that is a lot of force it took to actually get that in there. So let's go ahead and go to the drill mode on this. We're gonna drill an inch and a quarter inch hole. This is with a standard paddle bit. Let's see how well we do. We're gonna drill it right here. That should work out just fine. Mm, maybe right here. I am on setting one. <laughs> wow, that actually drilled a lot stronger than what I thought it would. This really kicks a punch. I tell you what, this did a great job. I want to test the power out just on one more thing. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say that this is going to work, but hey, it's worth a try. This is an eight inch timber lock. Now I typically save this for impact drivers, but for this occasion, why not? Let's give it a test. We'll find a good clean area. Let's get it started. Oh, you can feel it. That motor's trying. Wow. Wow, I can't believe it actually did that. Now, I could hear it struggling just a little bit, but for something that only has 300 inch-pounds of torque, that was phenomenal, and that's on the power setting too, and I had it on the drill setting. So, kudos to this, and, you know, we did burn up a little bit of energy there on the two amp hour battery, but this did a great job, so I was very happy with that. i um, very satisfied with how this performed. So, let's go ahead and move on to the impact driver. I'm gonna put this through a little bit harder of a test. And so, with that being said, now I just put this bit in and it is not a quick insert. You do have to pull the collet out just like this. It slides in, it locks back in place. Okay, so let's go ahead and drive. We're gonna start it with a four inch screw on this one. absolutely no issue and I would expect that it would be absolutely no issue. The thing that was surprising to me is that this was very smooth. I didn't have a lot of percussions in my hands from that, but that's not to say we're not done. Because we're going to go ahead and drive the 8 inch timber lock the same way that the half inch drill driver did. Let's go ahead and get that started here. Three, two, one. Absolutely no issue. I didn't have a lot of percussion in my hand. My hand's not actually vibrating. Let's pull it out. So that worked out very nice, but I'm not going to stop there. This is a six inch lag screw. Now for these, you need to pre-drill a hole. Now, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna sink it in to see how well it can actually do. Now, this is not something this drill is meant for. You should use an impact wrench or even just a socket, but we're seeing the more power that we're getting out of these impact drivers. You can do this, and it's not a big issue. So let's go ahead and get started. Three, two, one. So that drove it in. Now you could hear that it was working really hard and we do have a little bit of heat here, but that's okay. It did the job. Let's see if we can't pull it out.
that's warm, don't touch that. So um, I can say that right now, uh, this is doing very well. We did burn up a little bit of the battery there because this is not a typical duty type of um, load that you would put on this. I can say my hands feel just fine and they're not vibrating, which says that there is great isolation from the percussions that this puts out in order to drive these fasteners. So I can say I give this a huge thumbs up, being that this is a brushless technology. It's great lithium technology here. Um, I can't say really anything bad about these impact driver and the drill driver. I think that it performed very well. Now, you can buy these on Amazon and you can get this as a kit with a two two amp hour batteries, the charger, the bit set, and the two drivers for only $129. I think that is a huge hit and I think it's a big bargain as well, especially for the capabilities that you're gonna be able to get out of these particular tools. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative as well. Hey, if it was, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.